You don't want Nanako to see your boner. Sorry for the holdup. I found some stuff we can use in the closet at home. Take a look at these. Holy crap! Uh, public place? We've got our personas, but a golf club's not that reliable of a weapon. So, which one strikes your fancy? Um... Um... Uh... Neither. Come on, don't be like that. I just know they'll come in handy. Fine, give me the katana. As for me... Wait, maybe both would be good too. Don't hog all the weapons! Kinda like this? Uh, 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 what? That, what are you doing? Or like this! You're just doing the exact same thing. What about this? Uh, okay, that actually looks like you're trying to fight. Um, police? Police! There's a police officer. Look over to your left. There's police. Two suspicious young males found. One armed with multiple weapons. Requesting immediate backup. <laughs> huh? Oh, crap. I mean... No, 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 no. This, this isn't what it looks like. We didn't steal it. I guess that's not what matters. Anyways, we're not doing anything bad. We're just two ordinary kids who like weapons. Um, <laughs> uh, that doesn't sound right either. <laughs> Yosuke, now's the time to shut up and let me do the talking. Put the weapons down now. We'll listen to your story at the station. Hands where I can see them, too. I said now! But, but, this isn't... Way to go, Yosuke. You now just provoked him. Are you resisting an officer of the law? You're under arrest! Uh, see you later, Yosuke. It was nice knowing you. You were taken to the police station with Yosuke as suspects, even though you did absolutely nothing wrong, you weren't even holding a weapon, and Yosuke was the one flailing with the weapons. The police force is certainly a good one. You didn't seem the type to pull a stupid stunt like this. I did nothing. Look at Yosuke. He's to blame. You know what's been going on around town. We got men stationed everywhere. For God's sake. You're lucky I was around. Or this would have ended up on your permanent record. Oh no, permanent record, no! Yeah. We're sorry. Your weapons have been confiscated. Wait, so the one that disappeared is the Amagi girl? Seems like it. That she's just a high schooler, you know. Could be that she decided to run away from home. Hey, did he say Amagi? And she really is. Hmm? Who's what now? Oh, uh, nothing. I'm sure you've seen on the news that there's an investigation in progress. We're sensitive about certain things. You're free to go. But this better not happen again. Yosuke's first thought, let's get some more weapons! Whoa, pardon me. Huh? Aren't you the kid staying at Dojima-san's place? Oh, uh, can we ask you something? It's about Yukiko-san. I mean, Yukiko Amagi of the Amagi Inn. Did something happen to her? Huh? Oh, um, am I allowed to say? Well, if you're friends with Miss Amagi, keep this between us, okay? We got a call from Miss Amagi's parents yesterday evening saying they couldn't find her anywhere. Since it was the weekend, the workers at the inn were extremely busy and no one saw Miss Amagi around that time. Oh, but that doesn't necessarily mean this is a case just yet. But, people have been turning up dead on foggy days, so we're really sensitive to stuff like this. By the way, did she say anything to you guys about maybe going through some hard times? Uh, hard times? Well, that announcer Miss Yamano was staying at the Amagi Inn before the first murder. Seems Miss Yamano had some harsh words for the manager about the staff's attitude towards guests. The stress of it caused the manager to collapse. And, with Miss Amagi being the manager's daughter, she must have felt pretty strongly about the incident, you know? By the way, did Miss Amagi ever hint that 
she might be leaving the house? Because if not, there's been some theories floating around that she's laying low for some reason or another. Ah, crap. I think I've gone too far. You didn't hear that, okay? Adachi, what the hell are you chatting with civvies for? And where's my coffee? Hey, who are you calling a civvy? I'm your fucking nephew! Oh, well. Get him his coffee, Adachi. Sorry, I got it right here. Psst, forget I said anything, please. Wah, wah, wah. Hey, does that detective think that Yukiko-san? There you are! Hachi! Shish, what are you guys doing? Um, talking with the police? I've been looking everywhere. Uh, well, there was a slight misunderstanding. We'll tell you about it later. Anyway, something's up with Yukiko-san. Huh? You know already? I kept calling her cell, but she didn't pick up. So I went to her house, and it, it turns out Yukiko really did disappear. I guess we've got no choice but to go now. But that aside, the cops are saying some weird stuff. They think Yukiko-san's hiding to lay low. Apparently Yukiko-san's mom collapsed because that announcer lady bitched her out. Damn, collapsing because somebody was being a bitch? They think that gives her a motive. And the fact that the announcer died right after makes her even more suspicious. What? They think Yukiko did it? What the hell is wrong with them? They're just doing their jobs? Don't snap at me! Yukiko's the victim here, damn it, not the suspect. They both seem agitated. Oh boy! This sounds like a great idea. Let's just piss them both off. Look, we need to save her, let's all calm down. So, like, hey guys, you could bitch all you want, but we kind of need to save her, now. Right, that's the important thing. With the police totally on the wrong track, we've got to handle it ourselves. I'm going too. And that's final. I'm gonna save Yukiko no matter what! Chi, you are more than welcome to stay on the team. Stay on the team as long as you'd like. I'm not replacing you with anybody ever. Are you gonna be alright? Yes, she will. Shut up, Yosuke! Man, they just confiscated our weapons. We can't go in empty-handed. We got our personas and we got a golf club. Weapons? I know just the place. Come on, follow me. Now this should be interesting. Okay, yeah, leave it to Chie to know where a weapons and armor shop is. Here we are. What kind of shop is this? Yosuke, look to your left, look to your right. I think you can figure that out for yourself. A metalwork site, I guess. They sell all sorts of metal crap, like katanas and stuff. Doesn't that seem weird to you? Why would you know about a place like this anyway? Oh, I get it. You watch one too many kung fu movies and... It's not that at all. I overheard some guys in our class talk about it. They said this place sells weapons and armor. Oh, here, this one looks good. Oh, but it might be too heavy. I don't know, Chie. I still think it's too dangerous. I know how you feel, but... Yosuke, shut up! You don't! You don't know shit about how I feel! Yukiko might die from this, for crying out loud! I'm going, and that's that! The guy in the background must be thinking, what the hell are these kids doing? Are they role-playing? Oh, alright. Uh, you really shouldn't do this. Okay, but staying behind us. What? What? Okay. So, basically pussifying her, um, really pussifying her, and letting her come. Just be like, okay, alright, alright, fine. Come along. 
I'll be fine. My reflexes are second to none. Listen, I'm not kidding around. You don't know what it's like in there. If you're not gonna listen to our warnings, we're leaving you here. Yosuke, I will take my fist, put it on your face, so deep that I'm going to be able to grip your brain and crush it. If you insist on coming, just make sure you have something to protect yourself. All right. Man, what should we get? Hey, mind picking out something for me too? Um, okay. You're our main asset in battle right now. So I think you should choose whatever makes it easiest for you. Me, the main asset? Okay, maybe a little bit, but she is the strongest fighter in our group. Well, I guess we don't really know that yet. But we will, eventually, in the future. I know, I've seen it. Didn't you know? I can see you to the future. Received 5,000 yen from Yosuke. That's nice, even though I've got, like, billions of yen already from previous playthroughs. all picked out. How about you guys? You know, if we wear this stuff around town, we'll just get picked up again. But it's not like we can waltz into Juness with a sack full of gear and expect no one to notice, either. Why not conceal them under our uniforms? I don't think people would notice. Okay, let's try that. Alright, let's split up and get ready. Yeah, let's hide all of our weapons underneath our uniforms. I'm pretty sure people will not take notice to the big, bulky teenagers with loud, clanging noises coming from them when they take a step. The store will be crowded until the afternoon sale ends, and if we walk around together, the cops might get suspicious. Then I'll see you guys at the Juness Food Court. See, look at all that money that I got saved. <laughs> I'm not going to have any troubles buying anything. Alright, that's from a whole lot of grinding and a lot of playthroughs. Let's see, buy a weapon. For me, we got an imitation katana. At least it's better than the golf club. See, I like this system. When you buy it, when you buy the weapon, it'll ask you if you want to go on ahead and equip it already. And you can say yes or no. And if you say yes, then it gives you the option to actually sell what you had already. So you don't have to fumble with menus. It does it all in one sweep. It's awesome. Do you want to sell it? Yes, I have no need for it. Let's buy something for Yosuke. Hunting Katana. What was his original? Monkey Wrench. Monkey Wrench was his original weapon. And nobody ever really sees it, now that I think about it. Because this is the only time he gets to fight now, and we can already buy the Hunting Katana. Uh, wait, 4,000? Oh, that's probably why. Anyway. Got that. Buying armor. Chainmail. Yes. Yes. Do you want to sell the t-shirt you had on? Sure! Now we're only wearing the chainmail! <laughs> we get to walk around casually wearing chainmail. And... Go on ahead. Get rid of that. And let's see what kind of accessories we have. Headband. What does this do? Strength by one, and amulet is endurance by one. So endurance is defense. Um, I don't need to worry about defense right now. So I'll just get a headband for both of them. Alrighty, I believe that's it for that. Da, 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 dum. There is a bizarre door before you. It seems the others can't see the door. So, it 
finally begins. Now, if you'll give me a moment of your time. God damn it, Igor, leave me alone. The velvet key in your pocket is shining. We have been expecting you. Well, I don't really have a choice. You kind of just drag me in whenever you feel like. The catastrophe that is headed your way. It has already taken human lives in its approach towards you. But you have nothing to fear. You already have the power to fight against it. It seems that the time for you to use your persona has come. <laughs> Your persona ability is that of the wild card. Yes, thank you, Margaret. I believe we've established that about five times already. If you strengthen your bonds properly, their power will help you overcome any ordeal. Our role is to facilitate that. My contribution is to give birth to new personas. Wait, give birth to them? Ew! By mixing together multiple persona cards, I can transmute them into a new form. Oh, for a second there, I thought, you know what, never mind. This, in other words, is the fusion of personas. Fusion? Ha! You have the power to hold multiple personas and to use them accordingly. When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. At times, they may be hard to grasp. But you must master your fear and reach out to them. When you obtain new cards, please do not hesitate to bring them here. If you have been developing your social links, then your persona will gain even more power. They will be one of your chief sources of strength. You would do well to take this to heart. You recall that you have the magician's social link, the Yosuke. It seems that when a persona... Persona? Of the Magician Arcana is fused, that persona will gain even more power. The tome you see in my hand is the Persona Compendium. Registering the personas you hold will allow you to recall them at any time. Please see me when you wish to use it. <laughs> Do you recall my words to you before? The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. I meant precisely what I said. Defeat in battle is not the only way your journey may come to an end. Please do not forget this. When next we meet, you will come here of your own will. Yay! No more dragging me in against my will. <laughs> I look forward to it. What are you going to do to me, old man? Until then, farewell. I'm getting out of here. You're creeping me out, dude. I can't stop thinking about what you plan to do with me with that nose. And a save point. All right, so let's head on over to Juness. Wait, I can... There we go. You remember that you're supposed to meet the others at the Juness food court. Head to Juness? Yes. So let us begin our first real adventure. stick out. Guess it doesn't help that we're in our school uniforms on a Sunday. Brilliant. The sale should end soon, so that'll get rid of some of the people wandering around here. All right, let's get going. Chie, it's not too late to- Grand Kosuke, I will kick you in the balls! I'm going. Fine, but 
Don't push yourself, got it? Oh my god. Okay, Chie, you take the left testicle, I'll take the right one. Kick him as hard as you can. that bear from last time what are you doing can't you tell I'm thinking about stuff he's that's a lot of hard thinking it seems he's been thinking about himself all this time I've been deliberating over it for a long time now you're in a serious moment of thinking and you still have to make a pun. Way to go there, Teddy. Hey, that wasn't a bad joke. <laughs> Never mind. Yosuke, go stab him. Uh, so, did you figure anything out? Uh, it's probably useless to think about it too much. I've seen the inside of your skull and it was empty. Damn, harsh. How rude. You're right, though. I try and try, but nothing comes out of my head. Will you guys shut up? Now's not the time for stupid jokes. Listen, someone came here yesterday, right? Wow, there's a girl with a better nose than me? Well, she does have a cute nose. What's your name, miss? Miss? Oh, I'm Chie, but never mind that. Tell me more about that someone. I think it happened a little after I talked with you guys. After that, it felt like someone was here. Is it Yukiko-san? I don't know. I haven't looked. The presence is over that way. That's probably where they are. Over there, huh? Is everyone ready? Very ready. Yeah. Jeez, just... Wow, okay, just hurry on along! What the... a castle? You think this is the place they showed on TV last time? You're positive that no one's behind a camera for that bizarre midnight program. Program? I don't know. Maybe people on your side can see stuff in this world. It might be that. And I told you before, there's only me and Shadows here. There's no camera stuff going on. This world has been like this from the beginning. From the beginning? That's what we don't understand. I don't know. Can you guys explain everything about your world? I've never seen this program thingy before, so I don't know. Well, is that really what's happening? Are we really looking into this world? Because the first time Yukiko showed up on that channel was before she disappeared. Doesn't that seem off? I mean, Yukiko saying stuff like, score myself a hot stud. It's not like her at all. Score? Stud? He doesn't know. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't believe it either. Yukiko-san would never say anything like that. Huh. I wonder. Is this kind of like what happened to me last time? There's a lot of stuff I still don't get. But after hearing your story, I think that program happens because of the person who appears on it. Or something like that. We're going around in circles! So Yukiko is producing that show herself? We're going around in an exposition circle! Ugh, I don't get this at all. Hey, do you feel Yukiko's presence from inside? I'm pretty sure. So, um, what's this scoring with a hot stud thing? Yukiko's here. I'm going on ahead. But you don't have... Hey, wait, don't go alone! Yeah, that... Jeez, we better follow her. That's the only time I'll agree with you, Yosuke. We need to go after her right now! She doesn't have Persona! She can only kick things. She ran off on her own. Irk. 
There are lots of shadows in the castle. It'll be dangerous inside for a girl by herself. Dude, are you serious? Why didn't you tell us before? Come on, let's find Shie. That girl ran off on her own. That's kind of dangerous. We should catch up to her quick, Sensei! Ah, that's right! Here, take this! Received a revival bead. Oh, this too! I gathered all of them myself! I'll give them to you, Sensei! Received five randomly assorted peach seed and soul drops. Sweet. This is bad, Kagato. We better hurry after Chie. Well, out of here. <laughs> hey, we have to save Chie first. <laughs> alrighty, alrighty. Save Chie first. Be careful. 